Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. The room only had a few desks, and they were all placed together to make a big table. Ta table to make a big table. Mm -hmm. Yes, not the table, a big table. What even is that word? There were some manga posters on the walls, and a bookshelf full of manga and art books. Ooh. So that is the lineup we have. So we have uh, basically a Yuri, we have basically a Natsuki, and we have a Cutie. But gee, it's so good to breathe real air instead of smog. Yeah. What's that? Um, according to my my musical sentence, that's a violin. With a very familiar melody. I didn't bother telling Rika what the police actually said to Sakura. Just all the rest. And anyway, I'm pretty sure what they were saying doesn't even matter. They just made up a reason to bully her. Those bastards! I have an important announcement for the members of the club. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Also, that means Rika is, uh, has the Monica role. I mean, it's uh, luckily we don't have four for breaks here, so it's good. What is it? I also just noticed Nanami. That is a pretty green there. Two weeks from now, the summer festival will be happening in the village, and the club must meet together on this day and enjoy the festival. Oh. The summer festival? Really? I've heard about Japanese festivals like the Matsuri. Mm. They are very popular in all the villages. People do things like put on new guitars and visit food stall stands. Mm, yes. There are also a lot of games, traditional dances, and even a firework display the very end. Mm -hmm. Those are very pretty, especially in anime. Sadly. I've only seen them in an anime. Yes. I've always wanted to go to a real one. Same! You never went to any summer service, do you? are city red. Hey, shut up! you come to realize the summer festival of this village is absolutely amazing. Sounds like it'll be fun, a lot of fun. And no need to take the train this time, right? True. <laughs> I hope you have your Yukata City Red. Hey, I do. Actually, I didn't. I just wanted her to quit nagging me. As I promised with Sakura, I escorted her on the way home after school. Oh, jeez. It will be a problem if I didn't want have a Yukata before the summer festival. We would never let it go. I have to find one as quick as possible. I know wearing a yukata is mandatory for summer festivals, but I just want to show that Sundare that I'm not the city red she thinks I am. Ow! Sorry. Sakura? Yes? Are you free tomorrow? Yes, why? Well, I'm not familiar with the big city yet. And I'd like to go there tomorrow. So I was wondering if you would come with me? Those last few moments were hard to say. It's like I'm asking her out on a date. Oh. Oh my. Oh my boy. No, wait, I'm totally asking her on a date right now. Yes, you are. <gasps> of course, I'd love to come with you to the city. Really? Thanks. I can't think of a better guy than you. We giggled. She blushed. I'll see you at the train station at 9 a.m. Perfect, just according to Kikku. I mean, the plan. <laughs> Stop it! Not only will this tour in the city inform me of where all the important shops are, stops. Uh, same kind of. But I also can find a Yukata. I think she just saved me. I can't wait to go to the city with Sakura tomorrow. The next morning. I was at the train station in Overwatch. I'm not even sure that it was a station. It's so small and old. Add to that picture of it. It looks... Actually, where does the train actually go? I mean, that is definitely a house where... 
Is this the end station or something? Or does it just continue there? Hmm. It's so small. I didn't know there were such small things. There are station in the country. I mean, you can literally have a, a platform and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, maybe a, a little house next to it. Your man! Sakurai arrived. She was wearing a small blue summer dress. A strapped shirt and cute laced shoes that didn't hide her tiny feet. Her tiny Really? I usually find school uniforms attractive. Oh. But I have to admit that the casual outfit she was wearing suits her so much. Hmm. At least it's not something that you reverse, but oh damn. Mm, I can I can kinda imagine that though. And, mm. Good morning, Roman. Sorry for the wait. Good morning, Sakura. Ready to visit the city? It's not as big as Tokyo for sure, but there's a lot more there than the village. I guess I'll be my tour guide, senpai. I laughed a bit, but I kind of realized something. If I go to the city to buy a Yukida ship, I'll obviously notice it. But if I don't, we can all torment me at a festival. What should I do? Ah... Uh, Okay, before I tell her the truth, um, Sakura? Yes? Yesterday I lied. I don't have any Yukata. In fact, I was planning to buy one in the city while listening it with you. Is that so? It's okay, I'll help you for, to find one. Really? That's a relief, thanks. I said I had one to avoid Rika nagging me. Rika likes to give you a hard time. Well, I'm sure she means well. Uh, yes, of course. Arika is very unique. Very soon, you mean. I sighed with relief and laughed with Sakura. I'm glad she's so understanding. Okay, I'm going to the, the like to everybody else to kind of... Unless it is actually something that is actually good for anyone. I mean, or and both. Telling the truth to Sakura because... The train arrived and we boarded it towards the city. The city was three stations ahead. About 30 minutes of travel time. Sakura and I made small talk on the train. We finally arrived at the city. It really is pretty big, just as Sakura said. Here we are. The shopping area isn't too far, only two streets away. Great, let's get going, senpai. Sakura smiled and we started walking the busy streets. After some time we finally reached a street full of a variety of different shops. Clothing, multimedia, restaurants, arcades. They had everything here. I hasn't been shopping since I moved from Tokyo. I was pretty excited. But first things first, I have to find a Yukata shop. So we started with the clothes shops. Ah, there's absolutely no Yukata under the price of 200,000 yen Which is probably around 200 dollars. It's definitely too expensive for the budget I had As I was checking the prices, I noticed Sakura seemed to be thinking about something She looked kind of sorry that I couldn't afford a Yukita for myself Ah, forget it After all, it's not like my life depends on getting one Although, I just hope Rika forgot about it already I should praise myself for anything Let's go somewhere else for now Hmm Okay. So what else do you want to do? How about the arcade? I'm curious to see how good you are at shooting games. <laughs> Alright, let's go. But I won't hold back. Mm, that's a... Huh. One hand on the... One hand on the on the trigger and one hand on the, on the magazine. Mm. We played the game of Silent Crisis together. She was definitely a pro at it. She knew exactly where the zombies spawned and shoot them before they could even attack. Huh. I don't see any zombies in this picture though, but okay. I ended up using all my credits since I died over and over as well. She didn't lose a single life at all. Wow, Sakura. You're definitely better than I am. You know the game by heart or something? Like you have programmed it. <laughs> she was concentrated on the game. 
Not really. In fact, it's only the third time I've played this one. The f the the the, the third. The third. I think it's my reflexes that makes me good at these types of games. Hey guys, you're here too. Oh, none of me. Hey, Nana. What are you doing here? Duh, playing arcade games, you dork. Do not do, call me a dork, you little... Eh, I'm a dork now? Yes, you are. A dork, dude. My brain for a second. I thought it was static. And you are a dorkable. <laughs> like adorable, but with dork. <laughs> I hate my um, I hate that I made this. Sakura laughed so much at the damn joke, she almost took a hit in the game. Still, it's incredible how she can do multiple things at the same time. I heard it's an ability that girls naturally have. Multitasking? Huh? I kindly envy them. Then we put the token in the arcade machine and press the button they will play it to. Looks like you could use some backup. Hmm. And Nanami started to shoot at the uh, virtual mobs in the game with Sakura. After a while, Sakura finally lost her last life. Even Nanami was struggling to stay alive. Nanami was pretty good, but not as good as when she's playing fighting or puzzle games. Looks like we found a game she's not even master of. Well, nobody's perfect, right? You know, Nana, she, she's more fragile than she looks. Please, please don't, please don't put the, uh, she's, uh, she, she's getting malnourished by her f parents. Um, or, uh, or, if we go exactly the Natsuki route, malnourished because she doesn't get enough food from her dad. What do you mean? Well, something happened to her that makes her pretty introverted and nervous around people she doesn't know. Oh. What happened? I shouldn't tell you more. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I prefer she tells you herself. I'm sure she'll tell you herself something. If she trusts you enough, I'll... Anyways, don't mind her if she doesn't speak too much. Defending her takes time. Understandable. Being an introvert and making new friends is really, ta is really taking some good time. And it's, it's a nice time, actually. For the introvert and also for the person, because, hey... You learn them a little bit more and, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe something more can come up. <coughs> I understand. Does she trust a lot of people? So far she only trusts her big brother, Rika and me. Oh. I'm sure she'll, you'll be next on the list sooner or later. I see. I'll do my best to be a good friend to her. That's great to hear, Rowan. I'm sure some, uh, some... Someday you and her will be best friends. For sure, but I wonder what Nanami thinks of me right now. Dork. And I'm wondering what Sakura thinks of me as well. You're pretty nice. Not... Not... Eh? There could be some potential. After Nanami finished playing, we are... We ate some yakitori at a fast food restaurant. Mm. Mm. Then we boarded the train to return to the village. The three of us had a pretty fun day together. And we waved goodbye to us as she left to get back home. Sakura and I were alone once again. Sakura seemed to be deep in thought about something again. As we arrived at Sakura's home, well, Sakura spoke. Roman, what's up? I think I have an idea. Just wait here a minute. We ran into her house and came back with something. It looked like a set nearly neatly wrapped of clothes. Here, please, take it. It's a bit small, but you can make it bigger with some touch-ups. I unwrapped the set of clothes. I couldn't believe it. It was a blue yukata. Mm. I chuckled for a second. For a, for a second, I thought it was one of her own yukata. Mm. I was laughing, imagining how I would look like in a yukata made for girls. I mean, she had, has probably a big brother who grew out of that. But after a close look, I noticed that it was really a yukata for men, with the right cuttings and colors. 
Whoa, for real? I can borrow them? This? Yeah, you can you can keep it if you want. I mean, it's okay. Gee, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I gotta go. See you at school, Sakura. Have a nice weekend, Roman. Sakura waved goodbye and went back into her house. Really has a habit of helping me out in the gym. But it felt kind of strange. Whose Yukata is this? It looked like it's sized for her. Thank you, Cicadas. Maybe it was her father's from when he was young. But it looks brand new. They couldn't have bought it one by mistake. Oh well, let's go home now. I got an achievement again. <laughs> Sakura's secret. Oh, that was fast. Another week has passed. Oh, two weeks. School was great with Rika, Nanami and Sakura around. During these last two weeks, I really started to feel that I was a part of the village now. I'm happy, but I'm unsure if I have feelings for Sakura. Or maybe even for Nanami. Well, at least I don't have any feelings for Rika. Don't we? Hey, Roman. <laughs> Yikes! Speak of the devil herself! Oh, hey, Rika. Do you have some free time next weekend? This weekend? No, you idiot. The weekend after this one. Oh, sure, I guess. What do you need? Well, since you're a manly man that has muscles, I thought maybe you could make yourself useful and help me prepare for a festival. Ah, uh, why did I agree before knowing why? Looks like I don't have a choice now. All right, fine, I'll help. Great! I'll tell you where to meet later. Rika, I didn't know you were from a temple. My parents are Shinto beasts. Sometimes I help them for festivals and other temple-related stuff. Hmm. You live in the temple with your parents? My... Her face fell down. My parents divorced. Oh. I live with my mother and my father guards the temple. Oh. But they are still on good terms and they still have their faith in the Shinto order. So it's okay. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's good they are on positive terms though. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'll meet you at the club. See ya. The fish was dead. The fish was dead. I guess I learned something new about Rika. Still, I hope she won't be a total jerk towards me this weekend. Roman! Sakura, how goes? Sakura popped at me. As she rose back up, I noticed her face was flushed. R Roman, are you doing anything this weekend? Oh, we're, we're going fast to this! The next weekend? I'm sorry, I'm helping Rika set up stuff for the festival. Huh? Oh, no, I mean the weekend of this week. Oh, oops. Guess my man was wandering too far into the future, huh? I'm not doing anything at all. Do you want to go out to the city again? Sakura's face lit up and she started to giggle. I, I was about to ask you the same question. Of course, I'd love to go out with you to the city. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to have an even more fun than last time. Same here. I'll wait for you at the train station at 9 a.m. All right, I'll see you then. Ah, it's almost time for class. The school stayed dragged on and on. Maybe I just couldn't wait to hang out with Sakura. The next day came and I arrived at the train station in the morning to go to the city with Sakura. 